Hello my book loving friends and welcome back to Storytime with Mary. This is where we get to read all of our favourite books. So if you're loving reading along with Mary, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also like our videos so that we can read together all the time. Book lovers, I've got such a fun book for you today. Do you like penguins? Do you know what a penguin looks like? They're black and white, aren't they? And they've got flippers. Today, we are going to read a book called Donuts Adventures. This book is written by Paula Fletcher and Sean Webster. So if you've got Donuts Adventures at home, grab it now and let's read it together. And while you're grabbing your chilly penguin book, shall I tell you a fun fact about Donut and his friends, the penguins? Penguins are such cool animals. So penguins can be found in the Southern Hemisphere. Do you know what the Southern Hemisphere is? That means they're below the equator. So you've got penguins in Australia, in Antarctica, in lots of places in the Southern Hemisphere. But did you know that penguins are actually waterproof? They are. They've got this oil that covers them from head to toe. And that makes them really good swimmers. Did you know that penguins can swim up to 20 miles an hour? That's like a really fast car, isn't it? Penguins are so fantastic. And I've got an even cooler fact about penguins for you. So about 60 million years ago, there was a penguin that lived that's now extinct but he was taller than the average man. There was a penguin that was about five foot ten. Can you imagine walking along the road and seeing a giant penguin staring back at you? Oh, that is hilarious. Okay, I hope you've learned something new about penguins today. And if you've grabbed your book, let's get cracking and read Donuts Adventures together. Donut the Penguin lives in the South Pole. He's very cute and furry, such a lovely soul. All the other penguins, they like to eat fish, but donuts and pizzas are his favourite dish. Donut hates the cold, which is not ideal. He wants to be hot, enjoying his favourite meal. The freezing snow and ice turn his beak and flippers blue. He imagines life as warm as toast with a golden beach in view. When he shares this with the others, he can see their smirks. All the other penguins would frown upon his quirks. They huddled while he sat alone, daydreaming in the snow. If only he could find a friend, the places they would go. One day he met William, a snowflake who agreed. The pole was not the place for them. They needed to be free. While floating on a piece of ice, they would talk for hours about how they would travel and see the pretty flowers. Then William saw a fishing boat while dancing in the breeze, reporting back to Donut the moment they must seize. He told a tale of men with nets and boxes filled with ice. They could hitch a ride with them. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Donut was nervous. He didn't want to take the leap. Come on, we'll go together while everyone's asleep. Donut felt all queasy and really rather sad. Just because something's different doesn't mean it's bad. They went to the slippery rocks to spy and lay in wait. Little did they know that this might seal their fate. Ollie the orca was slapping the water with his tail. William screamed and flew to sail. Donuts tried to swim as fast as he could, but Ollie was faster and caught up. 
He knew he would. It was a shame, you see, because Ollie only wanted to play. But they got scared and they wouldn't let him say. Ollie was angry and tried to attack. William to the rescue. Don't worry, I have your back. He asked Harry the albatross to help Donuts take flight. Soaring with the longest wings. Such a wondrous sight. Donut held his wing, gliding over the ocean blue, screaming with delight at the amazing view. Meanwhile, Ollie dived back in the deep and sighed. Donut thanked Harry as he landed safely on the deck, spotting a bottle with a note peeking out of the neck. Donut read the message and his face turned really glum. Help, come quick. Who was this message from? William assured his friend that they will try their best to find out who sent the note. This will be our quest. As they spoke, the engine roared. The boat was setting sail. There would be no turning back. They knew they could not fail. They hid inside a huge icebox and braved the wild waves. The boat was steered to keep them safe inside some icy caves. The Arctic wind whistled a tune which echoed all around. Donut's tummy felt all funny. He yearned for solid ground. When the time was right, they climbed out to explore. The fishermen were eating lunch. <gasps> Pizzas galore! While William glided near the men, didn't make a sound. Donut was in heaven, so excited at what he'd found. Settling on a slice of pizza, he slurped the gooey cheese. It was a pretty tasty treat, which he enjoyed with ease. Donut waddled to the feast, but to his surprise, he was seen by a man who couldn't believe his eyes. A penguin, shouted the tall man and shot out of his seat, which made the other three men leap up to their feet. Donut's eyes welled with tears, but William returned to calm his fears. The four men towered over the tiny penguin, but William was determined to win. He covered the men with flakes of snow, which gave Donuts the chance to go. The friends dived into the icy water, where they met Mr. Sea Lion and his daughter, who showed them the way out of the cave to continue their mission and the lives they must save. Through tumbling currents, they travelled until the mystery was unravelled. Tangled in plastic, three of them lay a family of squid who were out hunting Cranny. Help us, please, they begged and cried. They couldn't move as much as they tried. Don't worry, we'll help you, William made certain, while Donut was trying to determine. How will we free them from this mess? He could see that the baby was in distress. William suggested a jagged ice knife. Daddy Squid pleaded, save my baby's life. William and Donut just wanted them to be safe. They could see that the plastic was starting to chafe. First, they saved the baby. His tentacles were freed. Mummy was so happy. Is there anything you need? She asked the duo, we owe you so much, it's unreal. We will do anything, let's just make a deal. Let's get you home, Donut vowed. William watched, feeling so proud. Donut was brave and strong and tough. He had proved that he was enough. Back at home, they told their story while the other penguins cheered in glory. Daddy Squid came to visit one day. Please, sir, I must repay. He offered to take them to any place. I want to feel the sun on my face. 
William told him, and Donut agreed. Somewhere warm would meet our need. That's no problem. Make sure you hold on. They climbed aboard. Then they were gone. Passing colourful coral and fresh mountain dew, arriving at lush green pastures new, the giant squid left them with a box full of ice to keep William from melting and some friendly advice. Always wear sun cream and stay inside the shade. William hopped in the box before he started to fade. Where are we? asked Donut. What country are we in? New Zealand, Squid answered. Let your adventures begin. Oh my goodness, what a lovely book. Have you ever heard of a penguin and a snowflake who don't like the ice and the cold? Well, meet Donut. He didn't like the ice and the cold. He just wanted to eat pizzas in the sun. And do you remember the fun fact we learned about Donut's friends, his penguin friends? We learned that penguins are really fast swimmers, didn't we? We learned that penguins can swim up to 20 miles an hour. And what else did we learn about penguins? We learned about penguins' ancient ancestors who grew almost six feet tall. Wow, what an amazing book. We love Donuts Adventures. And if you love that book as much as we did, hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together again next time. Okay, see you again next time.